the next drug i'm going to explain about the drug called as langali so it is also called as agnishike because of its showy flowers so the botanical name of the langali is gloriosa superba and it belongs to the family liliaceae it belongs to the liliaceae family so it is a very herbaceous plants herbaceous plant and it is a weak stemmed climbing plant so tendril you can call it as tendrilar climber so at the leaf tip you can observe the tendrils that is the leaf tip is modified into tendril and which helps for the climbing which helps for the climbing whereas the useful part of the langali is the root so the roots are usually tuberous the roots are tuberous in shape, tuberous and usually they are v shaped or plow shaped so you can make it make it out like they are plow shaped in nature with two unequal limbs so this is the shorter limb and this is the longer limb so they are usually pointed at the ends pointed at the ends and this from this end again the new plant arises new plant arises so this is the tuber due tuber of the langali this is the useful part then moving on to the morphology of the plant langali so the leaves are simple the leaves are simple so usually they are arranged in alternately their leaves are arranged alternatively so very rarely they are found opposite like here so very rarely they are found opposite otherwise the leaves are found alternate the shape of the leaf is ovate lanceolate the shape of the leaves is ovate lanceolate so it is pointing towards the tip pointing towards the tip and the as it is a member of monocot family so the leaf base leaf base covers the stem leaf base is very short and petioles are very short and they cover the stem stem they continue later on then the flowers so flowers are usually solitary in nature so they are axillary they arise from the axillary bud and they are usually single so you cannot make out the petal and sepal of the flower langali so this portion what uh, the colored portion what we call it as the perianth so this is called as perianth because we cannot make separate the calyx or the sepals and the petals so usually we find six sepal uh, tepals so these are called as perianth or the tepals so usually they are having they are very linear and wavy margin so the tepals are having linear and wavy margin and they are differently colored at different portion that is at the base portion at the base portion usually it is green in color then in the middle portion it is yellowish in color and at the apex it is usually scarlet red in color so it appears like the flame just appears like the flame so only it is called by the name agnishika then the stamens so again the stamens are arranged opposite to the perianth and they are six in number the stamens are very long and they are golden yellow in color so usually the stamens are long and golden yellow in color and usually the fruit we find is a capsule here is the fruit so this is the fruit this is the fruit of the langali so it is a three walled capsule so this langali is usually mentioned under the upavisha 
and the roots are usually used as a abortifacient abortifacient and the roots are also used in the treatment of indralupta or krimi karna